they had taken um, a middle-aged man and a woman um, out of one of the houses. And the woman was screaming, and the soldiers were screaming, and they were screaming at me not to take photographs. And some shots rang out, and the man uh, fell to the ground. A few minutes later, they brought out another woman, and then they shot her as well. And, and then things sort of calmed down for a bit, and then they brought out two, uh, two more people. And they said, look, look, he's from Kosovo. He's a fundamentalist. And he put his arms up and basically looked at me as if I was the only person that could save him, which probably in his mind I was, but unfortunately there really wasn't anything um, I could do. They brought him to the, uh, to the headquarters. And as I, I was standing there, I heard a great crash. And I looked up, and out of a second floor window, this man came flying out and landed at my feet. And amazingly, he survived the, the fall. And they came over and they doused him with some water. They said something like, this is to purify Muslim extremists, as they doused him with the water. And they started kicking him and beating him. And then dragged him back into the home. I had to make sure that there was a document, that there had to be evidence of, of this crime, of what was happening. And that, I think, gave me the courage to, to try to take those photographs. I was um, shaking, for sure, when I was doing it, um, because I realized how precarious everything was. But I really thought it was unbelievably important to be able to um, have the world see what happened.